What's up everyone and welcome back to Fubaguba Plays Neko Navy. So uh, we're just gonna jump right in. Uh, if you saw the last uh, episode, the preview episode, episode zero so to speak, um, we got a little bit of gameplay going. We managed to get as far as level three at least once. Um, but uh, we keep getting wrecked by the big flower monster. So we're gonna go with our um, our friend here, Chioko, the uh, the stoic the stoic cat, and uh, see how well we do. Um, I'm I'm already warmed up from from the last uh, episode, so hopefully uh, we'll we'll do a little bit better just jumping in this time. Oh yeah, I'm feeling brave. I'm going in between the bullets already. These guys don't have a freaking chance in the world. They don't have a snowball's chance in hell. Get out of here. Look at that, I'm already got my power up going. Dodging bullets. Ducking and weaving through here. I was doing pretty well last time. I managed to get through the first level without getting hit. Um, the second level, I only kind of very rarely beat. But that's mostly just because of the boss fight. Which is just dumb. Well, it's not that it's like... Unfair. It's just that... The, uh, the... It's it's so much more difficult than this level's boss. This level's boss is very predictable, and the next one is just like there's bullets everywhere in like four or five different patterns, shooting from different directions at different times. So it's it's you really have to be on your toes in order to figure out what's going on. So I did get hit once already. So that's what I get for um, telling everybody that how how good I am at this game um, before we really even start the video. Um, so maybe that'll, maybe that'll keep me humble. That's pretty typical for games like this. You know, my first run is pretty good. My second run is like crap. And then I kind of gradually get better until I, I until I'm able to actually beat the game. So let's go here. We're, we're up against Melty Heart here. I wonder why he's called Melty Heart. Is it because like he shoots lasers at you in an effort to melt your heart? Or is it because he's so cute that he's... He's heart melting. Maybe it's a little both. Okay, so I already destroyed the top one. I have to get the bottom one now. Come on, let's go. Break. There we go. Got it. Okay, now now here's the easy part of the fight. It's, you barely have to do any work here. I just realized I think I think this cat is slower than the other ones. Maybe that's why the bullets feel stronger. That would explain a lot, actually. I think I did a lot better on this uh, this time. I got like over a thousand uh, blue cat points. All right, I gotta figure out what the bomb button is. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be like B on the controller, but I can't be certain. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till I'm kind of in trouble. I'm gonna wait for those those cactus cubes to come down. Not these ones because there's not enough of them, but like maybe the second or third wave of the cactus cubes, because those those kind of give me some trouble. Yeah, you know what? I think if if this is the case, like the cat, this cat is slower, but he shoots more bullets. It's 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 just as well for me because I'm actually pretty ham-fisted. So um, moving a little bit slower is a little bit better for me. Now, as I get better at the game, maybe I'll I'll want to trade a little bit of firepower for that speed. But right now, it's kind of a godsend to have both of those things available in in one character. All right, let's try it. Yeah, okay, so it was the B button. It just kind of bombs everything. Wait, is that like a self-destruct? If I press that again, does it kill me? No. Oh, you know what it does? I think it expends, like, I think it expends points to use those, so you can't do it all the time. Because um, those yellow cubes drop um, when I die, right? And I think what that is, is like, okay, we're going to drop a bomb to try and bring down his health a little bit early. Yeah, because those those yellow cubes drop when I die. And, oh, did I actually, like, continue? Yeah, I'll continue. How do I continue? Is it the start button? Which one is it? One of these triggers? I, I don't remember what button I pressed that did that, but it worked. Okay, so I guess I figured out what the tokens do. Oh, I bit it again. This is embarrassing. All right, so I only got I only got hit like twice, I think, because I didn't go into this with full health. 
but uh, regardless. Day three, medication. We've got uh, one extra life, so we can afford to get hit once. But no more than that. Let's try not to get hit at all. Ideally, you don't want to get hit because... Yeah. Okay, so when I pick up the blue cats, it fills in this sort of bubble around me. And I'm not entirely sure what it does. I guessed earlier that it, like, increases the radius that I can pick up. But I don't know if that's actually the case. I, I do not like these guys. I feel like they're actually probably pretty easy to dodge. Because you just kind of, like, get in between, like, two of those three streams of bullets and you're good. You can just make a very small correction, but I don't like this at all. Yeah, I can probably just dodge like this if I'm, uh, close enough. Yeah, okay. I think that's how you deal with those guys. It's going to be more difficult when there's other enemies on the screen firing at me at the same time. But, uh, as long as it's just the mannequins, it's not that hard. Now, I think I th I, I'm past the initial shock and horror because the first time I saw these enemies was like the first time I, I, I got this far and they just immediately destroyed me because I was frankly shocked and horrified at how disgusting they were. I was... <laughs> it's, not, it's not that it's like really gross, it's just I, I was caught by surprise. Alright, so something tells me that I don't want to get stuck in between those two plates. Uh, when when they close, so I, shooting these guys is going to be a priority. I don't care if that closes behind me. Quite frankly, it's not my business. But I do want to deal with these guys here. Please die. Thank you. Man, they got like a bazillion hit points. I hate that. Maybe if I get closer, like... It'll, um, more, more of the bullets that would otherwise just kind of go up and down would, would hit him directly. Maybe... The, Maybe that's kind of the motivator for getting in really close, like that. Because he didn't even have a chance to, to get the walls to come down at all. Here, eat it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I think that's the strategy. Because I can actually, like, get pretty much on top of him. As long as the, the little pink orb doesn't hit him, I'm safe. So I got as far as the level 3 boss. I don't think I've been hit yet on this level. There was none. Oh, okay, well. There's no boss on this level, apparently. You know what? I think I saw this on uh, somebody's stream once. Every once in a while, you'll you'll get to the end of a, a boss, and there just won't be a boss there. So just as well for me. Okay, wait. Sausage fest right after the hospital. Please tell me this is not what they're doing with the medical remains. That is extremely gross, and I'm pretty sure, like, actually biohazardous. I l let's not think about that. Let's just let's just. I think it helps to imagine these as just completely separate areas, because realistically, I think they are. Oh, there's the power-up man. I kill him. Thanks for nothing. I, I love the physics on, on the sausages here. I've got to be careful not to let them fall down and hit me with the uh, diagonal shots. We'll, we'll break them up. Oh, those are hilarious. I, l I love how silly these enemies are. Oh, oh, oh dear. He almost got me straight up. Okay, so, he didn't get me that time. I think that might be a similar strategy as the, uh... That's actually strictly easier to deal with than the mannequins, because he only fires in two directions, and not directly at me. So as long as, like, I don't move, I'm good. Or if I move enough to just completely clear the arc. So again, these sausages are pretty easy to deal with. These little cactus things are pretty easy to deal with. Oh, don't want to get hit by the birds. Are those birds? I think so. They're either birds or little flying pigs. And, like, flying pigs would be amusing, but I think it's a little bit too easy of a joke to make. Oh my goodness. Alright, so that's, that wasn't that tough to deal with either. So I'm just gonna stay still, let them fire, no big deal. Yeah, these frogs are a little bit annoying, but they're not super bad. He says getting hit immediately. Alright, I'm very happy to have the extra power up. I'll scratch my beard here because I need to shave. Oh my goodness, it's a, it's a, it's the breakfast man, live lump of flesh, meat man. Oh holy crap! He's firing breakfast sausages at me. What's he gonna do? What's this? Oh, oh my goodness gracious! Oh, I don't like this. Oh, okay. Well, I guess 
His entire body is a hurt box, <laughs> and not just his head. <laughs> I have to go over him. Okay. Let's uh, let's enter our username here. Let's see how we did. I want to know how we did in the Steam rankings. Oh yeah, ninth place. Get roasted. Am I actually competing with somebody else playing right now? I might be. Because my other my other place was in ninth place, but uh, it was the thirteenth today, day before launch. No, okay, maybe I just like kicked off my previous score. Where it's very similar. Yeah, I don't care about the locals. All right, let's go again. Do you think we should use a different character? I'm gonna use a different character just to see if my theory about uh, character speed is correct. Um, I'm gonna use uh, Moogie here because if it's like, like fast, medium, slow, we'll we'll try Moogie. It might it might be like normal, fast, slow. It's hard to tell. I might actually just be full of beans. That's entirely possible. This doesn't feel that much faster than uh, Chiyoko did. Chiyoko's very chill about all this. He's relaxed. He's not just—he's not as he's not as cranky as Chiyoko is, but uh, Mugi is uh, not as like like hyper intense as Yuki. I think his name is Yuki. Oh well, that's fine. It's a very pleasant color of green, too. Is he firing, like, treble clefs, or are they just spirals? They look a little bit like treble clefs. This is a very musical cat. He's firing treble clefs and little feathers. Please don't... Yeah, okay. That was lucky. I should have been hit there. I mean, I'll take it. I'm happy not to get hit. Yeah, I think... They drop more little blue cats when when I get the little brave notification there. I'm fairly confident of that. All right, thank you for the power up. Warning, 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 warning. Melty heart. Wow. That was super bad. Okay, let's dial it in. Let's dial it in. We know how to beat this guy, it's easy. No problem. We got his number. This is, this this boss is already dead, as far as I'm concerned. This has been solved. This is a solved problem. We know how to beat this already. He's dead, he just doesn't even know it yet. You know, as long as we don't keep taking really, really dumb damage, we'll be fine. All right, so that's that one dealt with. I'm going to collect our bonus points here. Let's see what we did. Well, that's about on par with the last time. I did collect another, like, another credit. I wonder if um, you get credits for beating bosses or certain bosses or maybe passing a score threshold. I didn't notice. Wow, okay, so we've already been hit once. Um, twice, actually, so we don't want to do that again. Got to be very careful. I'm gonna get like this song stuck in my head because I've been playing this level so often. But uh, you know that's all right. Soon enough, we'll we'll be able to clear it on the first try, and, uh, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. I heard there are at least some secret characters, and I don't know how you unlock them. But it would be cool to unlock the secret characters, eventually. Maybe that'll be the goal of the Let's Play series, is uh, to unlock everything that there is to be unlocked, like the secret characters. I don't know if I want to do all the achievements and stuff. I'm not that much of an achievement hunter. I'm not, uh, I'm not good at it. I don't have the attention span, quite frankly. But, you know, this is a fun game, and I do want to play uh, for a good while. Oh, I think I... No, I did hit the button in time to not get hit. Okay, good. Okay, Monster Black Lily, here we go. I'm gonna bomb again. Oh, I can't bomb. Oh, maybe that's what the ring is. Okay, so you need to collect the, the blue cats to fill in the ring. I will continue, yeah. Is it Y button or 
X button? Yeah, okay, it's X button to continue. So, I collect these, and then when the uh, the little ring appears, then I can use the bomb. Oh my goodness. Okay, so each character has a different bomb that does different things. So the blue guy, Chiyuki, just has like an, uh, a huge... He covers the whole screen in, in lightning. But uh, this one, I think, uh, Mugi, just creates one big ball of death that just kills whatever passes through it and does massive damage. Okay, so that's good to know. So this, this cat is actually very effective at dealing with... Um, that particular boss. Plus, now that we know how the bombs actually work, we can start using them a lot more often. Whenever I, I feel like I'm in danger of getting hit, you know, because it, it's not that hard to, to fill up this meter. See, now we should have a bomb ready. I'm not going to use it right now. I probably should have, because I didn't feel like, I just didn't feel like I was in danger. All right, game over. Oh dear. No, let's do this right. We gotta. We have a. We have a reputation to uphold. All right, there we go. How do we do that time? Yeah, I don't think we. I don't think we beat our other score. That's all right. Now, okay. Now that I know that each character has a different attack, I want to try the other ones. Let's see what Miracle does when. Uh, when Miracle does a bomb. I feel like Miracle is a little bit faster than the other ones. So maybe I maybe I was right the first time. So Miracle is like is quick but doesn't do as much damage. Chiyuki is slow but does like a lot of damage. And like um Mugi is like kind of medium. He's the medium cat. So I, I imagine if you're like a bullet hell pro and like you have fast reaction times and like high movement speed can only help you, then this is this is the character you want. But if you're like kind of crappy, then you should use like Mugi or Chuki. Alright, so again, I'm gonna try and, and maybe wait for the boss to appear before I try and bomb. Really what I should be doing is bombing immediately, and then like actually yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bomb Oh my goodness, I get a flamethrower. Okay. So the story is I just get like a really strong attack for a few seconds when I when I bomb with this character. So that's interesting. I shouldn't say bomb then, it's really more of a special attack. Maybe I'll call it a special, but like let's be honest, it's a bomb. Because that's what they're called in shmups. And I got hit. I'm not happy about that. So I think we got to level three the last time. That's the first time I saw that extra credit there. So Maybe once we get to, like, a certain point in the game, we're allowed to um, get an extra credit, basically. And when that happens, we just keep it forever. And that extra credit is worth a, a series of extra lives. So there's a sense of, like, permanent um, progression in the game. So, like, okay... You did well enough to get this far, so we're going to give you some extra lives. You can just continue if you want, and you can keep playing the game. Because I, I don't think that credit has been expended for any reason. Now, it's possible that maybe you, you spend those credits in another area of the game. I just I just don't know what yet or where that might be. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so you start, you start the, the level with no bullets. And I thought that was because you didn't have any cats, but really you just, well, I mean, it's, it's because you also have any cats, but by extension, you have no, um, no bomb. Okay. So I can continue shooting while that bomb is active. So I probably should. Yeah. So that, yeah, I think this is supposed to be kind of like the expert bullet hell character because it encourages you to be very aggressive because he attacks in a straight line. There's no spread shot or anything. It's just, very, very damage, very concentrated damage. I cannot believe I didn't get hit there. That was incredibly lucky. So it's basically like whatever this guy points at dies. Yeah, I will continue. Okay, so now, now the credit's been expended, but I get the feeling I'm going to get it back. I 
Maybe the yellow cubes are just like worth more points than the cats are. It's hard to say. Ah, I got hit again, damn it. I don't think I lose points when I bomb. I hope not. Alright. What I should have done probably was save my bomb for the boss fight, but it looks like just hitting the flowers is enough to like get it started. I think I get a few iframes as well when I bomb. Damn it! I gotta concentrate now. This is the real shit. I don't get another continue. There's one there's only one flower left though. Oh I got him! Yeah, get roasted, kiddo! Get out of here! You flowery ass motherfucker. Sit your ass down. I think I, I got a better... I think this is a new high score for me. I'm at like... 8... 80 billion? 80 million? There's too many significant figures. The numbers are very big in this game. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hate this. All right, so we're we're in we're in day three now, which I'm pretty happy about. That doesn't happen every day. I don't like those big walls of bullets. See, I think when I actually put my mind to it, I can be pretty good at, at doing the dodges. I just get overwhelmed sometimes, which I guess is like the entire point of the genre is to learn how not to get overwhelmed. But, uh, oh no, I went right into the wall of bullets! Drat! Darn and blast. Alright, that's fine. You know, it's interesting that I haven't seen anybody else. Yeah, 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 that's right, I took ninth place again. Actually, hang on now. Oh no, okay, so I kind of kicked out my old score. But it didn't, like, bump anyone else now, it just replaced it. I wonder if that's normal, it just kind of replaces your score every time. Because I don't know if I see more than one guy here. Like, once I move up, then the blank name will go down a spot, and everybody else will go down a spot. Maybe that's how it works. I guess that makes sense. You don't want to have, like, one guy who's, like, every game that he plays makes up the entire leaderboard. That would be a little disingenuous. Alright, so now I've had a chance to play with the different characters. I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Moogie this time, because I really liked Moogie's bomb uh, attack. I thought that was really good. Plus plus Moogie gets a, a little bit of a spread here as well. Not as not as much as um, as Choco. Choco just like kind of hits everything on the screen at once. And Yuki kind of like has a bit of a spread and he hits more stuff, but. Like, Miracle is very directed. So I think that's kind of interesting that each cat has a different play style. I really just thought that there were just different sprites with different, like, colored bullets. But I really appreciate that uh, there really is a different play style for every character. So which leads me to believe that, like, if there are different characters that you can unlock in the game, like, how, how are those played? I wonder uh, what the strategy are for those. Are, are they like really strong compared to the other ones or is it just different? I wonder how the game balancing works out that way, especially if there's like online leaderboards. Maybe when other people get that secret character unlocked, we're gonna start seeing it all over the place. Though it doesn't look like anyone's really like played it at all since the, uh, the release day. Or I say the release date, really, the the uh, the publisher, Fruit Bat Factory, said like, "Hey guys, on the internet, I want free advertising." So, um, like, I'll give you a free copy of the game. Which, like, I shouldn't say that. I'm not saying that to disparage them. I'm very happy. I'm very excited to to get the chance to play this game because. I don't, I don't often have a lot of money to buy new games, so getting the chance to uh, check out a new game and help grow my cha channel a little bit and uh, have an awful lot of fun doing this, it's great, but they did that basically on the 6th and it looks like that's what all the leaderboard scores are dated from, so 
Maybe, I don't know if I'm going to be the only guy doing a Let's Play. Or maybe I'm just like a week late to the party. But um, I would like to see this game blow up a little bit because it is it is really high quality. I enjoy it a lot. Um, I'm having fun with it. So on one hand, it's kind of like, oh man, like... It's not that, like, anyways, it, it, I, ho I hope more people play this than what I've seen so far. But it is still early. The game's not released yet. Alright, there's my, my other power-up. I should probably be using the bombs more judiciously, but I think it's kind of healthy for me to get in the habit of just getting good at dodging and stuff. You guys in the comments are probably screaming like, this, this fucking idiot doesn't know how to use his special ability. You need to push the button and it just and destroys everything if you do it right. And yeah, I know, I know. Just like, actually get out of here though. See, I think that was actually a pretty great opportunity to use that because it basically just ate all of those. Oh man, that is, okay, that, that was actually a waste. That was a misplay, that's on me. I got, I got, yeah, that was bad, but that's okay. We're learning. I'm recognizing that that was a really bad misplay. Aw, oh, am I actually dead? No, I'm not actually dead, but like, I'm close. Please just give me a free fight. Nope, that's not gonna happen. All right, so this is gonna do a dick load of damage to this guy, or like actually no damage at all. Either way, I mean, one way or the other, I'll be happy with either. Yeah, I, I didn't even come close to any kind of high score. I'm not even gonna try. It didn't even offer me. It doesn't, like, yeah, no. Try again, nerd. Don't even get that out of here. All right, you know what? We're gonna go back to Chiyoko because he's my he's my dude. He's my main man. We're gonna play uh, probably one more run. And that'll be the episode. We're at 27 minutes now. Let me know. I mean, like, maybe maybe 30 minutes is, is too long for an episode for a game like this. I, I, I like to aim for 30 minutes in general because that's the kind of content that I like to consume is about 30 minutes. Um, you know, you get, you get like, a fair amount of content that way of different episodes, but, you know, it's not like I'm releasing one-hour episodes that, like, take too long. Maybe 20 minutes is better. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm still working out the, the YouTube formula, so to speak. I'm just going off of the kind of content that I let, that I enjoy to watch, but, you know, uh, maybe not everybody's like me. Although I imagine that, like, the people who will enjoy the kind of videos I put out are going to be like-minded individuals, so maybe I should just do whatever the hell I want. I might do that anyway. You can you can comment whatever you want, and I, I might ignore you. Um, <laughs> that's that's not that's not likely. I, I do I do want to see what you have to say and think about uh, what I'm doing here, because you know it's fun. That's what I that's what I enjoy a lot of the time is interacting with the community and getting to know people. All right, so let's let's scrub this guy. He's not going to be a problem at all. I'm going to throw a bomb right in his face to get some initial uh, bonus damage here. I don't know. Does that expend points when I when I bomb as well? Because obviously I can't use it all the time because I have to fill that meter first. Let's let's keep an eye on the score meter. Oh no! I just actually got a bunch of points for that, so I'm full of it. Maybe it's just because it does a lot of damage at once. It's just like, whoa, here, have all these points. That was awesome. All right, so we scrubbed the floor with that guy. No problem, let's get out of here. We got a pretty respectable bonus score as well. Um, so we're going into level two, like, pretty well off, I think. The Emerald Maze. It's kind of cool how you start up, like, kind of high up in the sky, and then you descend into the forest as the uh, the music kicks in. I think that's really nice. It's the little things like that that really, really tick up the, the overall quality of the game. No, I need that power-up. You're not allowed to fly away from me. 
it's just, it's just very pretty. It's very, it's very pleasant to look at and to play. I don't hate the music. I don't hate myself, you know. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I say I don't hate myself, but maybe in a little while we'll be playing on death mode and then I'll really hate myself. All right, get this out of here. I don't want to deal with that. All right, cool. So that was a good bomb. Uh oh. Run away, run away. Yep, get in front of it. I'm happy. I'm safe here. Good. I think that was a uh, I think that was the correct move because I was definitely going to get overwhelmed. Good. All right. So we're learning things. We're learning things. I think I think the same enemies kind of spawn in the same patterns every time. So, after a while this I get the feeling that the the being successful in this game is going to be about pattern memorization to a to a certain degree. Certainly with with like particular enemies you need to know how to defeat one enemy or the next because it has like a certain bullet pattern. But of course like you'll know after a while you'll kind of figure out what enemies spawn and where and how to defeat it on like a level by level basis. Ugh, I died. Okay, yes, I will continue. One of these days, I'm, I'm gonna figure out how to beat this guy without just getting outright roasted. I wonder if the actual flower part can uh, can damage me, because right now I've been trying to dodge out of the way. But if I only have to worry about the bullets, that is like a huge boon. I think I lost a bunch of my points when I, when I had to use the credit there, because I had over like 2,000,000, you know what I mean? 20 million. That might have just gone away when, um... I don't think I had to start from scratch, but... Maybe you do start from zero points when you die, and you have to use a continue. So when you use a continue, like, your high score is actually really crappy. But you get to, like, kind of continue through the rest of the game, and that's, that's the trade-off. I don't know. Maybe you lose half your points. Oh, that was bad. Oh no, that was bad too. I, I I was being cocky. I thought I was gonna be able to get away with it. Oh jeez. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, I'm good. Yeah, this level. I got the level here on lockdown and. As far as I can tell, the boss wasn't too, too difficult. What I really had problems with were, was uh, getting past level 2. That's just freaking impossible. I hate that. These guys, you just get right up in their business. Don't even give them a chance. Generally, you don't spawn with anything else kind of on the screen, so it's fine. Yeah, get out of here. Get roasted, kid. Not dealing with any of that nonsense today. Get in there, get up close, just blast him, use the whole cone of, uh, of fire to your advantage. The fact that you can basically put all of, all of your shots on him at the same time. There we go. Without getting hit. Use the hitbox to your advantage. Alright, so we're, we're doing okay so far, I think. I, I know I'm missing a lot of those points as they fly away, but... I'm more concerned about surviving right now and just like not taking a bunch of dumb damage and getting hit. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of that so far. Now actually I don't think I had to fight this boss the last time because it just it just didn't appear. Closed today. Yeah there was there's no boss. Maybe there's just never a boss in here. Maybe yeah it's hard to say. Or maybe I'm just getting extraordinarily lucky. It's hard. Yeah, I don't know. One of these days, I'm actually going to have to fight that guy. I'm going to be caught off guard, and it's going to be real bad. All right, let's go. So these, these bird dudes are not that hard to deal with. So the last time we fought the boss on this level, he just straight up crushed me to death. And, uh... So I thought that only his head was a hurt box, but actually his entire body is a hurt box. So, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, the swinging sausages are great, because when you break them, they, they fall down. 
You have to dodge that. I also appreciate that absolutely everything explodes in this game in, like, fire. It's just so over-the-top ridiculous. I love it. Alright, these guys are actually pretty easy to dodge. I just, like, basically don't have to move, and I'm fine. Those guys are more difficult. The frogs aren't so bad, either. They're pretty predictable. Those guys just don't even have a chance. Especially if you get them early, they, they don't even get to shoot at you. Shooting the sausages is really great for picking up these points here. Yeah, so if I just kind of stand where they where they start to come into the foreground, they don't have a chance. Good, all right. We'll deal with those weird airplane men, those mosquito things. These cubes aren't that hard either. Yeah, this is, oh. Well, that's something about hubris, for certain. We're sound effects now. All right, there we go. Let's see how well sound effects did. Still in... I bet I got a new local ranking. Yeah, sound effects, fifth place. Sex is still really good up there. I'm sure I did better than that, though, at one point. Like, let's look at my... Maybe not. Oh yeah, because there's a couple scores that I that I have under that name. There's like the one down there at ninth place, locally. Or up here in second place. I don't know. I don't know. Hard to say. Oh, anyways, doesn't matter. I have three credits now. Credit plus. I wonder how that works. Oh well, works for me. So, uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, if you liked what you saw, please remember to hit the like button, uh, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.